What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change your shirt. Not sponsored by Powerade. Let's get started. What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the famous shirt swap effect in Final Cut Pro 10. It's very easy. Let's jump right into Final Cut Pro 10. All right, guys, so the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is to make sure that you have your footage. So you want to go ahead and, you know, record your effect and you want to make sure you have good lighting. You know, the better the lighting, the better the video in itself is going to look. And the next thing you need is, of course, a tripod. If you guys don't have a tripod, this effect won't work because even a slight uh, change in movement between the camera and the subject is not going to make the effect look good and it's just gonna make it look really bad so make sure you have a tripod make sure it doesn't move the camera doesn't move at all and that you do it relatively quick depending on the light you don't want the light to change uh, you know if you're doing it if you're gonna wait like five minutes in between each clip you might want to scratch that out because it's not gonna look right so you want to go ahead and just film it and then once you guys have that saved import it into your computer and drag it into your timeline so once you guys have it into your timeline, I'm gonna explain what you need to do. Put your cameras on a tripod the whole time, and I only record one, uh, one for like one shot or one take. I don't like to do two different shots or two different takes because I don't want to get confused in between the clips. So just try to do it all in one uh, shot or one take, and try to do it relatively fast. Okay, if you're gonna be using natural lighting, then what you're gonna go ahead and do is go into the frame. Okay, and I'm gonna delete this first bit because we don't need that. And I'm here just talking, whatever. And this is where, I know this looks funny, but this is what you want to do to make the effect work. And that is to pretend, kind of like imagine what it's gonna look like in post, okay? So you're gonna grab your shirt and you're gonna pull it like that. I'm gonna disable the audio because I don't want it to play. You push play and it looks just like that, right? And you kind of make it go like that and then you're gonna go ahead and change your shirt and then you're gonna put a new one back on and you want to kind of go back to the same place the same starting point that you left off of and just do it again okay um, don't worry about where you left off just do it again okay because we can edit that in, of course in post in Final Cut Pro 10 so we're gonna do it again and you can see that I didn't get it right the first time I just didn't like it so I do it again and you want to be a little bit dramatic when you're doing it just so the effect looks a lot cooler so then you're just gonna do that and then you just say whatever you want to say and you cut the clip. So in between these two clips, you want to get rid of it. So go into wherever you're going to stop. So in this case, right as the shirt kind of goes back to well, when I go like this and it goes back, that's where you want to cut it. So go ahead and use the blade tool by pressing B on the keyboard and then go into wherever you change your shirt, blah, 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 blah. You're going to go around here. So cut that as well and delete it. So now you're going to have two different shots here. So now if I push play, you're gonna have something that looks like that, but it doesn't look right. I'm gonna use this one here. So I'm gonna delete this one. And that one looks a little bit better, but it still doesn't look realistic. So we're gonna go back and adjust this a bit. And right as I let go, there we go. So perfect. And that is how the effect is done. So all you're doing is you're stopping at one point and you're ending at another point in another clip. And that's all you do. It's just that simple. So if you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like down in the like section below. Turn on the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on a video just like this. And if you guys like the new setup with the lighting and the camera and just kind of like switching in between the screen and myself, just leave a like, guys. That'd be awesome. I'm trying to make the quality of the channel a lot better and a lot more interesting. So uh, just let me know or just tell me down in the comment section below as well as um, other videos you guys want me to make. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.